August 5th, take the pizza. Did it again. I did bar comedy. Last episode I said, or last show, whatever you want to call it. I said I wasn't going to do bar comedy because I explained how I hate bar comedy. It's like the worst. Just doing a bar comedy show just to try out some new material. My other friend is doing a show on uh, the 18th. So that's why he's practicing and I had to go and take the bullet. I, was, I said I wasn't going to do it, but anyway, Wednesday came. He's going to pick me up. I said, ah, what the hell, I'll go do it. Give me something to talk about on the podcast here. And I'm glad I did it. Because he's talking about, you know, we, we should go get our own show and do this and do that. And hockey season's coming up, so I, I don't care about doing comedy during hockey season. But anyway, so he's sitting there, well, well he's, we're driving there, and he's talking about the show and all that. And I said, you know, I don't like doing the show because now I'm doing the podcast on Sunday. I, was, I had it all set up. I was doing it every Wednesday, but then all of a sudden we're doing the comedy show. Now I got to stop doing the Wednesday and do it on Sundays. Meanwhile, you know, since November when I started this thing, everybody that's that, that was watching the show was ready for Wednesday. He's like, everybody, I mean, nobody watches your show. And I said, well, you know, I get, uh, you know, 30 to 50 People watch the show a week, and uh, that's 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 pretty good. He goes, yeah, I, I saw your last week's video. You, How many people watched last week? I said, 20. He laughs. Ha! 20? That's it? Just 20? That's a waste. Shouldn't even do the show. But most of the people that watch this thing were watching during football season when I'm giving out picks. So I could give out ba- baseball picks. Problem is, I don't know who's going to be pitching four or five days from now. Who gets injured because, you know, baseball's every day. You know, football's every Sunday, and then you have a Monday night game. So you can pretty much figure out what's going to happen on Wednesday for the Sunday's games. So that's why I get more people watch during football season because I give out the football picks. So he lasts, you know, 20, 21 or 20 people watch the show. That was up till. uh... See, I posted it Sunday. This is Wednesday. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So three days, only 20 or 21 people watched it. So he's making fun of that. We walk into this place where we're doing comedy. Seven people. Seven people. All right, the show. He's laughing at my, my YouTube video got 20. Here we are now in seven. But now, this is the third week in a row. So the third week that we're doing this. The first week there was 21 people. The second week there was 14 people. And now this show has seven. But you're going to laugh at mine. Ah, 20 people? Ha, what a waste. Here we are doing comedy for the seven people playing video poker. Not even facing the stage. So anyway, the person talks to the host that's running the show. They have a singer. The singer comes up. She does, you know, ten songs. Then she takes a break. And when she takes the break, we get up and do comedy. But the person that owns the bar or the manager goes up to the host and says, Listen, we're getting too many complaints about the comedy. Too many complaints. So this is it. This is the last week you're going to do comedy. The people are here for the singer. They're not here for the comedians. So we're going to get rid of the comedy. So last Wednesday was the last show at that bar. which is That's great news. Great news. Now I could go back to my regular schedule. Because uh, when I walked in and I saw seven people, I was like, this is ridiculous. You know, I, was, I had about a, five minutes of new stuff I wanted to try. All right, so, you know, we... Get up, you get 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and then uh, then a friend of mine gets up, does 10, 15 minutes, and then uh, the, the singer comes b- back and starts singing after she takes a break. So, you know, after the singer's down, you know, to, uh, taking her break, there's nothing going on. So that's why the comedy was filling up that gap between her break and singing again. 
But they, they don't understand that. But anyway, that's good news. I don't have to worry about doing that show anymore. So that's good. And uh, that's bar comedy for you. So if you, if you missed last week's episode, I explained why bar comedy sucks. So I'm not going to go over it again. So that's, that's it. The show's over. So that's good. But so he has a show on the 18th. And now he's talking, uh, he texts me, uh, the host and him want to do a show starting September, every week. I said, well, good for you guys. I'll do the show maybe once or twice, but I'm not doing it every week. Nope. I'm not in this to be a comedian. You are. You want to do comedy, you go do comedy. Me, I'm just funny, and I'll just get up when I get up. And if I'm not getting paid, I'm not doing it. So that's the way that is. So if they get the show on in September. I got, I got hockey season starts in October. Football season starts in September. Baseball season comes to the end. The players are so, I'm busy. I make money betting sports. What did I do doing comedy? I made a half a pizza, $20. Uh, I didn't waste any gas. So I made, you know, I made about uh, $6 altogether. <laughs> 20 20 and a pizza half a pizza all right so like fifty dollars fifty dollars worth of comedy three three uh three weeks in a row that's why i don't drive i don't drive to my comedy shows why should i use my gas put miles on my car when i don't want to do it now if i'm getting paid seventy five dollars or a hundred dollars or 150 to do 15 20 minutes I'll drive. Actually, I got a lot of people that'll just drive me. They like, they like going to the show. They like walking in with me so they don't have to worry about the guest list. So they want to go and do the show, uh, go to the show so they'll offer to drive. So that's, uh, that's the good thing about being a local comedian. So how, how, how do I build this? I'm a, I'm a sports handicapper, comedy writer, and then every once in a while I'm a comedian. That's the way this is. Anyway, so it's going to go back to the normal schedule now. So I'll be doing the show on Wednesday. So today's Sunday. Today's the fifth day in August. It's finally not humid. So uh, that's good. I've worked out three days in a row because i got to get in shape for SEMA. So, uh, you know, it's like a marathon. It's my marathon. Every year I do, the, do a marathon called the SEMA show. So i got to start getting in shape. For that, so I figure I lose maybe about you know a quarter of a pound, and I'll be ready for the SEMA marathon. Anyway, so I'm gonna cut this short because we're gonna go back to the regular scheduled thing on Wednesdays. Take the pizza. We'll be back to the normal day. So I'll be back in yeah, a couple hours, pretty much. What say Sunday? It's like Sunday afternoon right now. So yeah, in a couple hours it'll be Wednesday. And I'll do another regular show. I'm not going to be talking comedy anymore. Past two, three weeks, I did a lot of, you know, talking about my comedy, uh, you know, bar bullshit comedy over at the No Regrets Bullshit Bar.